Hey, good morning. Um, Chris Birch here, Entrepreneur Strategies. It is a Sunday morning around 10 o'clock. I received an email uh, correspondence yesterday evening on a potential multifamily property uh, right near Baltimore City Community College. Uh, if you're familiar with the area, it's right on Liberty Heights Boulevard. So I'm heading over uh, to meet someone for lunch, so I figure bring you guys along with me. Um, leaving DC now, got my entrepreneur shirt on as always. Uh, people keep asking me about the t-shirt, so I'll, actually, you know what I can do? I'll put a link uh, down in the video description. I think it's like 20 bucks. Um, get your entrepreneur shirt, uh, kind of put you in the state, put you in, you know, what, what you're working on, what you're working towards. So, jumping on BW Parkway, heading north, I will circle back with you guys uh, as we're coming closer to the property. Talk to you. So it's gonna be down, down here on the right. I kind of feel that this is probably better potential than I originally gave this property for two reasons. One, I'm not seeing the typical panhandlers on the street corners like you do in the city. I'm seeing big, historic, almost historic style homes. And I do think, do think it is on a busy street. That's one negative factor. But at the same time, is this uh, 2611? So we're a couple houses down. But as those cars go speeding past that, I. <laughs> I will say that it is definitely on a busy thoroughfare, but in proximity to the city college, which is right across the street, that doesn't concern me too much. All right, so we're here, 2601. And I'm gonna say the neighborhood is good issue I'm initially seeing and then I'll jump out and you guys can follow along is a lot of these houses seem to be not that well taken care of on this immediate block so let's jump out and let's see what we got we are here we are directly across the street as they said from Baltimore City Community College and this is the property and this thing looks like it's gonna need everything. Even if you look up, the windows are all broken out. The, I hear the crows crowing. But, I mean, good grief, man. I, uh, I saw some pictures, but I don't, I don't know if this is what I was expecting. You know, like, they vandalized this whole place. I don't know. They say it's not occupied. It doesn't look like it appears to be occupied. But. Yeah, this thing is going to need everything. There's a lot of trash and... Man, I don't even know where to start. We got broken glass everywhere. But, I mean, even you see the house next door, that's abandoned. Back here, looks like they've obviously broken in, so I'm gonna assume there's no utilities, there's probably no appliances. And uh, 
I mean, it's a huge, huge house. I don't know if you can tell from the angle that I'm shooting here, but it's actually kind of, kind of creepy. So let's go around. I mean, you hear all that traffic out there. I mean, city bus. But I think location is actually pretty darn good. It's really my dilemma. My dilemma is going to be the amount of work that's entailed. We get a better angle back here of the whole house. But I think from from an investor standpoint, I don't. I could see shit, a hundred, hundred and fifty grand. I don't know what the comps are. We can come back and kind of figure out if these numbers are even gonna work. But as you see here down the street, a lot of traffic, man, a lot of cars, a lot of noise. This house next door is completely destroyed. But yeah, I think it's gonna be I mean, I think, shit, it's going to be a lot of damn work. Let me walk down that. There's an alley right here that I'm walking down. Kind of along the side of this house. But, I mean, this sucker's got to be... It's three full levels. With an adjacent, maybe, kitchen or something back there. I'm not sure. does have two parking spaces back here but man this thing is gonna be a ton of work and I just don't think oh so actually the parking space look at that the parking space actually used to be a garage it used to be a two-car garage which roof is long gone. So, I don't know, guys. I'm not sure about this one. And, uh, oh, look. We got a neighbor. They're probably living inside. There's probably a fucking house full of cats, for all I know. <clears throat> so, I probably disturbed them when I was coming around. But, yeah, this, um,. This thing leaves a lot to be desired for. All right, so we're back in front of this. Uh, what would you guys call this? This looks like probably, shoot, probably 150,000 rehab, maybe. I mean, you're talking about what is this? Six six individual bedrooms, three baths. And I'm not going inside this sucker, but I do have some pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and post pictures now so you guys can kind of see the condition. I mean, I'm sure there's holes in the roof and all the like not, but...
So I will mention, as I was walking around, I heard I heard something, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Um, one of the neighbors came out and wanted to just inquire what I was doing. And he said that he had actually been instructed by, I guess the people who are selling this property. I don't know who the owner is, but he had been instructed to keep an eye on the place. And I kind of smirked and laughed and was like, you know what the heck are you keeping an eye on there's nothing here it's a it's not even a it's not even a shell because all the drywall's up but there's holes everywhere and there's yeah, it's just awful um all right so <clears throat> i just want to do some quick comps on this property we just looked at on liberty heights so this is our subject property right here 2601 you can see it actually sold in 2017 for 32,000 their current estimate. <clears throat> now this is Zillow, um, probably not the most accurate as far as comps, but just to give you guys an idea, uh, tax history on this property. Someone bought it in 15 for 53. It was listed in 17 pending, then it was removed and then it sold for 32. So as you saw, 49,000 is the asking price. I'm saying 150 on rehab, and I might be lowballing that. But if you look here at not real comparables, I'm seeing estimated value of about mid hundreds, mid 100s. I see one here is a five bed, four bath, sold for 215 in 2018 completely different house but I'm just not seeing it I'm not I'm I'm not seeing the amount of work entailed with the photos you guys just saw the video you just saw I'm, I'm not I don't see it I mean you could probably tear that house down and rebuild it for 150 so even at that point I just don't see it there guys Hey guys, I always forget to do this um, in the middle of my content, but if you enjoy the content that I'm bringing you, please don't forget, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when I go live or post new content, and comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the content we're providing and what we can do to help you.